Today we got some controversy. I ain't gonna lie now. I was on YouTube, I was on Twitter, and I seen a couple of people surprised that Corinna from Espa basically apologized for being in love, and I was confused, but I came across this video basically telling the full story, and I wanted to check it out. Let's get straight into it and see what we got, bruh. Who would have thought we'd see Lee Jae Wook with anyone other than Go Yoon Jong? Dispatch completely shocked the public by revealing his real life relationship with K pop idol Karina. So let's find out how it all started because this story is what? straight out of a movie. On February 27th, Dispatch unexpectedly reported about Karina and Jae Wook's alleged relationship. According to their findings, the two were drawn to each other after their encounter at the Prada fashion show in Milan, which they both attended in January of this year. Some time ago, uh -oh. a video of the two two attending the event went viral, and now it's known that this footage shows the moment when the two fell in love at first sight. They were sitting what? side by side in the front row, exchanging what looked like small talk and polite greetings. Fans also caught Jay Wook offering his seat to Karina like a true gentleman. There's even glimpses oh. of him making sure not to touch her or come too close to her so that she'd feel as comfortable. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, this picture right here, this that look that you give, <laughs> this look right here is that look that you give shawty whenever she's like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, buddy is crushing bad, bro. Hold up, let me make sure the quality's good, bro. Nah, he's crushing bad, bro. What? Fans also caught Jay Wook offering his seat to Karina like a true gentleman. There's even glimpses of him making sure not to touch her or come too close to her so that she'd feel as comfortable as possible. Nice. According to Dispatch, their close acquaintances stated that they did indeed fall in love the minute they laid eyes on each other. Although Ooh. the two were in Milan when they met, they reportedly agreed to further explore their connection in Seoul. Since both of them are completely booked and busy, it's hard to make time for other things outside of their work. Despite their packed schedules with performances and dramas, the two still made sure to spend time with each other in Jay Wook's neighborhood. Dispatch shared a few private pictures of them as evidence what? of their relationship. In one of them, Karina is seen having a late night walk in Jay Wook's neighborhood, hinting at the fact she probably stayed over at his place. In another picture... Bro, y'all gotta get a damn life, bro. <laughs> y'all have to get a damn life, bro. You telling me you had people out there stalking? You had people stalking? Nah, this is crazy work, bro. I love this for them, though. It seemed really, really cute. You know you really, really want love. And this is what makes love such a touchy topic in the K-pop industry and stuff like that. Because obviously, you don't want this type of stuff to come out for the simple fact that... You don't want this to ruin the group. You don't want this to affect the group that you're a part of. So you try to hide this. But even though everybody knows, they will still go to the depths like this to take pictures of you in the street in somebody else's neighborhood. And then after they done got the stuff, they're going to expose it. Like, bro, how y'all feel about this type of stuff? Y'all think they should mind their business and let these people like love behind the scenes? Or what y'all think, bro? Honestly, this is crazy as hell to me, bro. Imagine not having this amount of privacy, bro. And it's like you sign up for this, but at the same time, I never would expect it to be this crazy, bro. Dispatch shared a few private pictures of them as evidence of their relationship. They really care in for each them, other. Karina is seen having a late night walk in Jay Wook's neighborhood, hinting at the fact she probably stayed over at his place. In another picture, Jay Wook is photographed holding multiple bags, which means he definitely wasn't shopping for one. Judging from Karina's past remarks, Jay Wook seems to be the man she's been waiting for all this time. Uh -oh. She once mentioned that her ideal type is someone with black hair, a pretty smile, big hands and feet, over 180 centimeters meters tall, doesn't smoke, looks good in blue, and is a polite person. Mm. Jay Wook ticks off all those boxes. When Dang. the dispatch report was first made, their respective agencies were careful not to reveal too much with the public without doing their own research first. It didn't take that long for them to acknowledge the situation, though, because on the same day, Jay Wook's agency, CJS Studio, officially addressed the dating rumors and confirmed them. In a statement, they wrote that the two are currently in the process of getting to know each other. In a later report, so they in the talking stage? So they in the talking stage? Or are they dating? It seemed like they dating. But this but because they gotta be so secretive and they don't have the 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 freedom and time to really like indulge in each other's company. Hold up, hold up. Because they don't have the time to indulge in each other's company, and maybe they are still in the talking stage. And maybe because now that they've been exposed. They'll be as be able to actually, you know, indulge in each other's presence more. <laughs> 
Karina's agency, SM Entertainment, also confirmed the rumors. They revealed that the two are still in a bit of a talking stage since they just I got knew to know it. each other, but they didn't deny that the two had romantic feelings for one another. Surprised by the unexpected news, netizens immediately went through the two's Instagram accounts to see if they missed some clues over the past month. Fans believe their thank you messages to fans were oddly similar, which to some was a sign that they were seeing each other, however far-fetched that may sound. That's they succeeded at keeping their relationship on the low, though, since there's not much that gives away they were interacting with each other this whole time. But it caused a big frenzy online, as people couldn't believe Dispatch would reveal their relationship at such an early stage. Facts. Dating within the Korean entertainment industry is pretty brutal. While it's not exactly prohibited, there's an unspoken rule that you should keep your relationship as discreet as possible. Therefore, they didn't even have a chance to keep it discreet because somebody exposed them. That's what pissed me off about stuff like this. Bro, mind your business. It's best not to reveal it too early, Aww, especially if the demon. celebrities in question are at the peak of their careers. Since both Jay Wook and Karina are doing incredibly well right now, a lot of criticism was directed at Dispatch for airing their business this early on. If As we they have should. to believe the reports, the two had known each other little over a month when the report was released. Their companies also emphasized the fact that they're still just getting to know each other and that it's not very serious yet. Netizens have voiced their anger about the way the media went about exposing their Thank you. I'm glad I'm not Elaborating alone. Elaborating on this, someone wrote, Dispatch had previously declared that they wouldn't report on rising stars, but I guess their definition of rising stars is selective. Although most people directed their anger towards Dispatch, there's also a big part of netizens that disapproves of their relationship. Most non-fans and international fans have been very open and supportive of their relationship, but quite a lot of Korean fans see it as an offense that Karina went public with her relationship. The news went viral on X as netizens started a hashtag to voice their disappointment in Karina for dating Jay Wook. They claimed it's detrimental to her rising career, especially since Espa is preparing to make a comeback. Some even went as far as criticizing her for going on dates without wearing a mask, or for even getting caught dating in the first place. On February 28th, Espa released a behind-the-scenes video of their stage greeting on their YouTube channel. This video showed all the Espa members interacting with fans who came to see their first movie. It was a very adorable sentiment, but unfortunately, their comment section was filled with angry and malicious comments as a result of Karina's newly announced relationship. Some fans even stated they felt uncomfortable with the timing of this video, as it was released almost immediately after Karina's dating news was confirmed. Majority of fans believed it was inappropriate for Karina to go public with her relationship since Espa hasn't been in a stab bro what the hell did you want them to do bro you had people trying to expose their relationship so because now that they are out there in the air and people want to know now they have a choice to make. ...group for long enough yet. Explaining this, a fan wrote, It's been just over three years. Moreover, they are about to release their first full album. Is being caught dating right now appropriate? And another wrote, They struggled... Is it your business? ...to succeed in the fierce idol industry and reach their current position. They should have been more careful. They basically accused Karina for being a bad and careless leader, since in their eyes, she put her own happiness before the group's success. Not only that, that, fans have I also accused that. her of being negligent in communicating with fans, suggesting that she hasn't been caring enough about them. Luckily, some rational fans chimed in to remind everyone of the fact that this relationship wasn't disclosed willingly, as it was difficult to expose them without their consent. A fan wrote, It's not like she's been dating for for years, it was forced to be disclosed. It's understandable to be angry, but let's not cross the line. Jay Wook isn't being let off the Stay hook in your place. either, as he's been receiving tons of negative comments as well. This has everything to do with Karina's prominent position within the K-pop industry. To many, she's considered the representative fourth generation girl group visual, which basically means she's considered to be so stunning everyone is extremely protective of her. Besides, she likes it. Espa is considered to be one of the biggest fourth generation girl groups, so of course any dating rumors within the group would have a lot of publicity. This is to Jay Wook's detriment though, since all eyes are on him now. The negativity he received got so out of hand, his agency had to put out a statement to warn people- Is he from Alchemy of Souls? I'm pretty sure, huh? ...for being too harsh on him, as it would have serious consequences. Letting the public know they were serious, the company wrote, This is a serious violation of personal rights, and we inform you that we will take strong legal action through our legal representatives. As you Surprisingly, should. Surprisingly, it's not only fans being shady, but even former 
idols have made some questionable remarks. Jenny, oh, a former no. Oh My Girl member, posted a picture of herself in the snow with a caption that said, Karina, 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 Nanrina. Netizens quickly realized this can be considered a wordplay that translated to, wow, things are hectic. Almost immediately after Ginny made that post, netizens couldn't help but link it to Karina's dating scandal. People believed Ginny was mocking Karina for going through a hectic period after her personal life was exposed to the public, causing her to receive a lot of criticism. Others thought it was just a harmless joke, but enough damage was done for Ginny to be forced to speak up. A day later, she posted an apology on her Instagram, writing, I'm sorry if it seemed offensive. I meant to say I was disappointed because she's my favorite member. Although Ginny is no longer a public figure, this was obviously going to make headlines. It seems like Karina yeah. has everyone in a strong chokehold, former colleagues not excluded. Despite the mountains of backlash they've received, both- To be fair, if it make headlines, she's a public figure. Karina and Jay Wook seem pretty unfazed. Jay Wook recently appeared as a special guest on the YouTube show Salon Drip 2, and he didn't shy away from vaguely hinting at his relationship with Karina. Show host Jung do Yeon mentioned that she's collecting travel buddies for a future trip, and said, When guests appear on the show, they all say they want to travel with me since I'm right in front of them. That's how I got actress Go Yoon Jung and Espa's Karina to say yes. Jay Wook then asked if he could <laughs> join that group, and we all know he had ulterior motives with that remark. Do Yeon <laughs> reassured him that she'll make some arrangements so who knows, Ooh. maybe a cute little vacation together is in their near future. On February 29th, Karina made her first public appearance after the dating news, and she looked absolutely stunning. She I showed bet. up at the Crush pop-up store in Seoul, and netizens were eager to catch a glimpse of her from every angle. For now, her relationship with Jay Wook is still in the early stages, but we can't wait to watch it blossom into something more. Facts, bro. Bro, how y'all felt about this? Bro, how y'all felt about this? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think they should have not exposed this? I feel like that's an invasion of privacy. You should mind your damn business. Um, But I know they just wanted to get the headlines, the publicity, and all of the attention, bro. Ooh, I can only imagine being in that position, bro. I would hate to have that pressure on me. But honestly, if there's one thing I learned from social media over the years is if you act like it's not a big deal and you continue on with your life, a lot of people will just forget about it. A lot of people forget about it. Don't let it get to you, Karina, or uh, what? I forgot the other dude's name. Either, both of y'all, don't let it get to y'all. Love each other, be happy, and forget about what they saying because at the end of the day, it's about y'all and what y'all want to do with y'all's life. They not a part of a relationship. And as long as y'all both handling business separately and y'all can do it in, the, in a discreet manner, it shouldn't be a big problem. Now that it's out, it should be some pressure off y'all's shoulder. But y'all let me know down in the comment section how y'all feel. Before y'all get up out of here, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and follow me on the social medias. Without further ado, I'm out. Peace and love always.